So welcome to another exciting episode with your host, Tamin25, on another tech episode. And on today's show, we are talking about uh, the Elgato HD and HD60 uh, glitching and screen problems that seems to happen with the Elgato depending on the type of system that you've got at, at home now the thing is um, a lot of people want to be able to game capture but also you want to do it in the best quality you can now the thing is what a lot of people don't realize is that Elgato require a massive amount of resources from your computer in order to be able to deliver their best quality their top end stuff so as an example, if you want to be able to record in full 1080p, 60 frames per second, um, using the Elgato system, you need a really, really, really good computer. You can't just have some just hitting the system recommendations. No, you've got to be smashing them. So for all of us normal people who don't all have i7s and a dual core processor and you know tons of RAM, this is to help you guys. I hate long tutorials that take forever to get to the point because you the viewer just want to get the result which I completely understand. Don't forget guys to give a thumbs up if the video helped you out and don't forget to hit the subscribe button to get more content like this and obviously check out the rest of my channel. There's so much content here. It's all over the place. Um, so check it out. Right so right now we're recording uh, using the Elgato system as you guys can see on the screen and this is what you guys can see. So as you guys can see, like, it's completely pixelated, so, so many small little square pixels that you can see on the screen and it's just completely blurry, it makes no sense, the recording looks absolutely ridiculous. So now what we're going to do, we're going to cut to my computer screen to show you what adjustments you need to make in order to stop this from happening. Now the simple reason this is happening is because my computer is not quick enough to actually run this software to its maximum and I've set it only to 720p at 60 frames and if you go to if we go to my settings it's actually set to HD 1080 and it's allowing 60 frames per second and this is literally like the best the absolute top quality you can have this set on it's running out input is 1280 by 720 59 frames so which is 60 frames and output is exactly the same but let's cut to the chase how do we get rid of all this glitchy so basically, if you head over to where the settings uh, button is, click on that, and then go over to where it says capture, and what you need to do is change this quality down. Now, because I'm recording already, it's not going to let me do it, so I'm going to turn off this recording. So we turn off the recording, and uh, this is the new version, this is version 2.0 uh, software, which is 32-bit. Um, so what you want to do first is you want to head over to this settings tab so here yeah, let that open up and turn off enable flashback recording turn it off and enable stream command turn it off now the only reason you need this on uh, is if you're going to record using a webcam separately uh, on your overlay so and it allows you to put overlays on 2.0 version um, but this takes up a massive a massive amount of resources and obviously flashback recording is what you can see on the screen here is what you can see on the TV screen basically but for your PC to do both is takes a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of resources so uh, it's preferable that you turn these off if you go over to the sharing tab turn off uh, use TV for iPad or Apple TV exports and also you can always turn this off which is uh, to convert MP uh, convert the video straight to MP4 file now I know it makes it easier to do this but what's happening is that your computer is having to record the footage and then at the same time convert it to MP4 which takes up again a lot of resources and if your computer is struggling like this to actually, you can see this background here how it's going all crazy if your computer is struggling like this to do yeah because I've actually forced my computer to do this so you guys can, can see what, what the problem is you, sh you turn this off and it will actually get rid of this problem as well Mine's checked because my computer can actually handle this. I've just forced it to make it do this. Uh, and the next thing that you want to do is head over to this other settings tab, uh, which is here. You click on that, and when it opens up here about Game Capture HD, what you need to do is actually change the expanded. Even if you if I run a PS3 and the PS4, today this tutorial is based on the PS4, but it's also the same settings for the PS3. So 
uh, you don't have to adjust anything differently it's exactly the same what you want to do first is turn off 60 frames per second that's the first thing you want to do running your game at 30 frames per second is good enough it's not going to make a massive issue with the quality uh, and also what you want to do is change it to standard color range rather than expanded uh, these this will reduce a lot of cpu drag and as you can tell as soon as i took it off 60 frames even though i've left it on 1080 it's kind of gone a bit more smoother but it's still glitchy so how do we get rid of this full glitch well you can't take it down to 720 you've actually got to take this thing down to standard uh, when you take this down take it down to standard you will actually see when it reboots it will actually work a lot better um, it won't be doing this glitchy, glitchy crap anymore so uh, once you've done all these adjustments when you go to the game you see the game is actually running a lot smoother now there's none of this glitchy crap that was happening a minute ago it's all running a lot more smoother uh, and additionally to that if it does still glitch a little bit which it can do if you go to task manager now I'm using a Windows 10 machine which may look a lot different from what you're, you guys are using um, but what you want to do to go to task manager on Windows 10 you just right click go to task manager you go over to uh, where it says details and it should load up a list of stuff that's running right now right now I've got Camtasia running and obviously the Elgato is their game capture device and you want to right click on it go to set priority and set it to above normal you say change priority and it should actually run so it will say lost signal for a second and then it should come and there you go uh, so it just uh, lost signal for a second there but now it's recording at 640 by 640 by 480p at 30 frames per second now this may not look very good in terms of figures and numbers and stuff but uh, I'm going to do a small recording of this gameplay that I'm going to be doing right now in front of you guys um, so you guys can actually see it's not actually that bad So thank you for joining me on another exciting episode with your host, Simeon25. I hope you guys enjoyed this short video on how to sort out the glitching and the craziness of the Elgato system. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, guys, if you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe so we can make more content just like this one. If you have any other issues, guys, using the Elgato system or any other questions, just leave it in the comment section at the bottom of the screen. And as always, stay awesome and peace. Try again, try again. <laughs> you son of a. <laughs> we can do this! Oh, f off! No, you. S oh, he's got a bat! Someone's got a weapon! We've got to get up there, we've got to get up there. No, you. Oh, you. Sh you little. Sh <laughs>